let's look at the concept of backwards breaking. It helps to know what number I'm starting with and to remember that that is a 10 part and that is three singles. And if I want to take off nine, you know, it also helps to understand that I can take off the three to get back to my 10 part, okay? So if I take off that three, now it's gone. I've subtracted it. But that wasn't enough. I needed to take off some more. So I still need to take off six. So I took off my three. That part is done. Now I have 10 minus six. That's the same thing as four, okay? Essentially, taking off nine was the same thing as taking off three and then taking off six. So let's do a problem without writing down what we're taking off. 14 minus five is the same thing as 14 minus four and then 10 minus one. So the answer is nine. 14 minus five is the same thing as nine. Okay, let's do another one. 16 minus eight. So we're going to think about this in two parts relative to our 10 part. We're going to take off six first, and then we're going to take off two. So let's go back and look over here. Okay, this is just a translation of what we do. This is the number we're actually doing it on. So first take off six, okay? Then take off two from the 10 part. 10 minus two is eight. That's backwards breaking. If the child knows where their 10 part is, they can always figure out how to get where they need to go.